Previously on Left Behind. Could I inform you of some good news? There is no good news until I know Johnson has access to Sebastian. I just wanted you to know that we have located the Judahite Central Underground Headquarters in Ptolemy. We plan to raid it at midnight. So, you were counting on my help. Funny, I don't remember you mentioning that. Because you would have refused. I can't sit in a safe house while our parents run for their lives. Having God serve a meal directly was something I never expected in this lifetime. Gina, show Socrates what a 12-gauge does to the front door. Yes, sir. Based on The Remnant, the 10th book in the best-selling series, Tyndale House Publishers proudly presents episode 113 of the dramatic audio edition of Left Behind. Gina, what's your 1020? 100 yards northeast of Rendezvous Point. You okay? Affirmative. GC troops in the woods, sir. Mm. Irene with you? Negative. You have the do? Affirmative. Okay, I'm on my way. How many troops? Guessing two dozen, sir. Come back? Minimum. Roger, be sure you're clear. Cease radio transmission and return to rendezvous ASAP. Roger. <sighs> so much for bluffing, Stefanich. Either he wasn't buying or he's royally stupid. Uh, Johnson to Irene. Johnson to Irene. Where is she? Johnson to Irene. Come in, please. This is GC. Who goes there? Show yourself or we spray the area. A friend. GC here, too. Cool your jets, gentlemen. Armed? Holding it over my head, peacekeeper. Ten to one, I outrank you, so don't do anything rash. How about turning that light off? We're all on the same assignment here. Hand over the weapon, ma'am, and we'll sort this out. We'll sort it out first. Let me get my papers. Stand down. So far, you've been by the book, and I can't fault you. Thank you. Superior officer, guys, salute. No need, gentlemen. A little sloppy on the march, but at least you're on time. What were you doing in the bushes, ma'am? Following orders. Now wait here for my CO and another officer, and we'll go together. That Uzi's not official issue, is it? Something to look forward to. Really? At my level, it is. Very nice. Stand by, gentlemen. Officer Irene to Senior Commander Johnson. Johnson? Senior Commander, great. A little decorum, please. This is Johnson, go ahead. Sir, I've met up with six peacekeepers who will join us on the assignment. Standing by for you approximately 500 meters east of your position. Uh, you said six? Ten four, Commander. Everything, uh, copacetic there, officer? Ten four, Commander. You sure you weren't seen? As sure as I can be. This whole thing is going sideways. Mac, everything okay? No, we met with a bunch of peacekeepers out here. What's Stefanich up to? I'm in his mainframe, and there's nothing relevant here. It could be as bad as they're onto you, or he's still just trying to cover. Yeah, well, what do you need all these people for? Are they setting up here for the midnight raid? Too far out of the way. Yeah, unless we're wrong about the location of the underground headquarters. Uh, listen, we're not far from where the pastor hit Rayford. What's the chance they discovered that place? You're a good 50 kilometers from there. The troops don't fit that scenario. I'll stay on it, but I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you and me both. <clears throat> Drop them in the corner. Help me with these elevator doors. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> What's the secret here? 
You have to open it manually when the electricity's off. <sighs> if I can get my fingers in between these. <clears throat> there. Okay, I'll hold it open while you get them inside. Stand up! <clears throat> oh, open it a little more. <clears throat> it doesn't fit. Ah, eh, that's better. In you go! <clears throat> There. I don't want him found cuffed and blindfolded. Here's the key. All right. And so, you can see your new home. <laughs> Woo! It's stuffy in there. Here's a bottle of water. Don't drink it all on the first day. <laughs> Cheers. I have to go get Flynn. I'll be back. Yep. Perfect prison. Other than the fact that there's no oxygen. Oh, it's too hot. These people are crazy. I'll die in here. No kiss off or I'll put you out of your misery. So it's just me and Elena now. Good. Tip them off. Uh, why so many troops? Figure out the connection and you'll know their next move. If only I could get into Stefanich's file server. God, I have never asked you to override a piece of equipment. But your servant David Hasid designed this firewall, and in an effort to serve you, I need to get through it. Help me think. I know we'll lose more people before your ultimate victory, but don't let the Greek believers take a hit. I mean, not tonight. Protect the co-op, and help me do whatever I can to get our people out of there. Mac, we can't leave Chloe out there. Hannah, you know how to hotwire a car. What are you thinking? Well, we got some folks we want to get out of here, and that's the primary mission, but we also want to try and warn the believers of the co-op. Hey, if I can find a screwdriver, I can hotwire it. All right, listen, check the trunk. It wasn't locked. Um, I'll take care of Chloe. Got it. Uh, Johnson to Irene. Irene, go. Uh, unforeseen delays here. Uh, need your assistance. Ah, uh, that's a negative. Uh, let them go on. We'll catch up. <sighs> this works. You heard the boss, gentlemen. We'll see you at the destination. We'd be more than happy to help the senior commander, ma'am. Uh, I'm sure he appreciates that, but thank you, no. Can we meet him later? I'll see to it. If you do me a favor. What's that, ma'am? Senior Commander Johnson's presence tonight is a surprise for Commander Stefanich. He's going to be compensated for some of his recent actions, so... Don't let on that he's coming? Exactly. You got it, man. Hey, we didn't know Commander Stefanich was going to be here ourselves. Fact is, we don't know what we're doing here. Well, it's all part of the surprise, boys. done, Hannah. Officer Irene? Yeah, I'm coming. Uh, that was close. Yeah, well, kind of. All right, here's the plan. Oh, hang on. Uh, it's Chang. Talk to me. Mac, I'll say this once and get back to you as fast as possible with details. Ready? Go. I just learned that Akbar and Stefanich have communicated personally several times uh, today. What? It's true. I'll be back with you when I know more. Right. We're busted. What is it? Oh, listen up. Hannah, you're driving. Chloe, you're riding. Take the dew and an Uzi and a sidearm each. Phones on, radios on. Get to the co-op and clear them out now, including anything they don't want found in a midnight raid. Uh, then, um, go straight to the airport and wait out of sight. Uh, ready to hightail it to Sebastian's plane if and when we show. Uh, if we don't show, that means we're dead and you're on your own. Uh, where are you going? I'm going to go make sure George isn't out here somewhere. What? Time's wasted. Get in the car and get out of uh, here. Let's go. 
All right, big fella. I'm gonna go to work. Somebody at Stefanich's level access the director of security and intelligence. Merely doing my duties. Pay you back for that service to the cause. Well, I don't Next know call. What to say. I have a question about a mutual acquaintance. Go ahead. Howie Johnson. Is he a fair man? Uh, the name doesn't ring a bell. Senior commander. Under Conrad. I'll have to look him up on that. Uh, yeah, still a record. But I don't think our paths have crossed. It's unusual for someone at that level, but I guess it happens. Would you happen to know if Conrad vouches for him? I want to be sure before exposing the prisoner to him. Well, what prisoner are you talking about? And who's Conrad? You're not Conrad's immediate superior? Uh, no. And I don't see a Conrad in the command database. Really? Spelled with a K. Uh, let's try that. He's supposed to be your top guy, deputy commander, office on your floor. Conrad is in here, too. Another excellent record, with the exception of one small problem. What's that? Neither of them actually exist. What? I'm afraid you're being played. Really? Could be something the Judites have stitched together. If you're right, may I have your permission to play them right back? <laughs> Absolutely. With my best wishes. Uh, bring them all in, dead or alive, and I'll fast-track you to the palace. They're playing you, Mac, and they're on to Hannah and Chloe, too. I don't believe it. Unless we pull this together, we're putting the whole deal at risk. If you'd have warned the believers at the co-op, you'd have given them away, too. Ah, too late, Chang. That's what I just sent Chloe and Hannah to do. You're gonna need to help me stop them. Great. But you've got your own problems. They're staking out your location, too. All right, listen. You saved our lives here, and I appreciate that, but we're not done yet. We got 86 Chloe and Hannah before they bring down the whole operation, and we have to find Sebastian. That just got tougher. Well, granted, but these clowns just got me mad. Now, any idea at all where he's at? Still looking. What's the plan? Now, if you're right, Sebastian isn't within miles of here. We've probably got a dozen guys waiting for me around the car. Don't go to the car, Mac. Too late, Jang. I've got the car in the scope. Yep. Moving on the north side of the road. You need to get out of there. <clears throat> All right, listen, Chang, I got earplugs in now, so I'm going to go ahead and hang up. I'll talk to you after I've messed with these boys a bit. Call Chloe and Hannah now. All right. Distance. Another hundred yards. Keep the crosshair. not to, I figure. You know best. And I'll be seeing you real soon. This is completely your deal, Lord. Amen. Well, 
That's not good. Okay, little lady. Just forget about the lock now. Come on, leave it alone. Come on. Alright, that's better. No! Oh! oh. I think I see your point. If you have the technology to stay in touch with your audience and you're safe, why not stay here in Petra? We'll miss having you around, of course. Oh, you and Abdullah could stay as well and, and keep track of everyone from here. But that would be your call. Oh, I can't say when, but uh, now we'll, we'll be leaving. You'll be under more scrutiny than ever when you do leave. You could lead the enemy right to the safe house. Well, we'll worry about that when the time comes. So what are your plans? Well, we've been discussing that. I will do as the Lord leads, but I believe it's time to consider a plan for organization. You mean like a government? Well, the truth of the matter is this is basically a city, a country unto itself. And, and yes, I believe we need some form of a government. Oh. You don't think that's God's job? Oh, God provides food and water and clothes that will not wear out. But I believe he expects us to manage ourselves. I suppose there would come a time when that would be important. Mm. <laughs> Imagine how bored a million people will get just sitting around, <laughs> waiting for the glorious appearance. <laughs> While we won't wait 40 years, uh, the children of Israel under Moses come to mind. Uh, good point. Right after the miracles, everything was fine, but after the routine set in, <laughs> they apparently lost focus. And that is why we need to motivate these people to help the rest of the world from right here. We must equip the saints to oppose Antichrist. How exactly will that work? I envision creating a network of resources for believers, I informing them of safe havens, putting them in touch with each other. At some point, Chicago will be exposed. Hmm. Perhaps the safe house of the future will be in a thousand places, not just one. Mm -hmm. Has the time come to make your home in the hiding places of believers around the world? I've been thinking about that same thing. I am not saying it will be easy, but I urge you to disperse your people before they are found out. That will reduce the chance of losing the majority of the group in one unfortunate moment. Uh, my point is valid. I appreciate that counsel. Now, my friend, I need your counsel. <clears throat> Walk with me. Now, this may be upsetting to some, but I believe God is impressing it upon me. We live in a time of judgment, even wrath. It would be easy to preach God's demand for justice for the blood of the prophets. But a profound and seemingly contradictory message presses on my heart. It, it is such a paradox that, well, uh, I believe the time has come to stop talking about the judgment of God. What? I have concluded that the whole message of God throughout the ages is an anthem to his mercy. God's justice and judgment and wrath speak for themselves. It's all around us. But I believe God is calling me for the rest of my time here on earth to champion his love, his matchless grace, and his mercy. Huh. Well, think about this. Uh, I want your input. I have asked the elders here to challenge me, and I ask you the same thing. At noon tomorrow, my teaching begins, and this will be my theme. Looks like Hannah was right, Chang. She thought we were being followed. I said she was being paranoid. <laughs> I told you. So ditch them or lead them nowhere. From what I can tell, the GC has no clue where the co-op is. So just stay away from the other believers. Yeah, but if this is a trap, why wouldn't those six peacekeepers have arrested me? You got me. Maybe everybody out there is not up to speed on the plan yet. Okay. So here's one idea how to get rid of them. Chloe, put that down. Well, it's not lethal, right? It just heats up its target. Well, they don't know that. They see you pointing it at them, they start shooting, and we're dead. <laughs> Chang, how many people know where we are? Don't know. Why? Well, if it's a bunch, we're dead anyhow, unless we can disappear. If it's just this one car following us, there may be a plan B. I'm listening. It assumes they want the underground more than they want us. The talk seems to indicate that they plan to grab you after they bust the underground. Okay. 
Okay, so we lead them to the wrong underground. How does that work? We just pick some unfortunate citizen at random, knock on their door, and tell them a raid's coming. Which, at that point, would then probably be true. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Plus, if we do walk up to somebody's front door, the GC will think we don't know we're being tailed, and they might not feel the need to grab us right away. And in the meantime, I can work on getting you out of there. <sighs> Great. Call back if you hear from Mac. Got it. Be careful. Yep. Okay, so, Hannah, I'm listening. Let's get a little further into the city. We'll pick a block, drive around it a few times, and then stop and knock on someone's door. <laughs> Just like that. Yep. Okay. <sighs> Gotta make her think I'm dying in here. <laughs> Which I am. <laughs> All right. Try this. You finished playing around in there? Huh? Are you? You're going to get yourself shot. Hey, California. You okay in there? Great. Just what I need. Elena. Sir, he was banging around. I threatened to shoot him and he quit. But now I think he's passed out. Because it sounded like it. Yes, he collapsed. You know, there's no air in there. Where? Okay, hang on, I'll look. <laughs> it's your lucky day, California. I'm gonna find you some air. I gotta tell you, Chloe, I'm okay with decoy undergrounds and all, but we've got more than just ourselves to think about right now. I know, I know, Mac. And? I know, George, too. The thing is, we're no use to either of them if we're dead, which kind of ups the ante on trying not to get dead. <laughs> Take a left. I just can't imagine George is still alive. You say that, and then what's the point of us running around? Well, come on! What's in it for them to keep him alive? Well, I'm just hoping they think they can still get something out of him. Did you know him that well? I never met him. Slow down. We'll use this block. One of the uh, stores up there? Yeah. Well, I didn't have any real contact with him, but he looked like the kind of guy who was going to do what he was going to do, and nobody was going to make him do any different. So what's your point? Well, my point is... I'll bet he hasn't given them deadly. Which is a good reason for them to keep trying. Pull over up here. You can use the grocery store? No, there's a little shop further up. I didn't want to park in front of it. You're sure this will work? Sure. I have to be sure. Well, let's just not be too obvious. Well, frankly, we're probably giving the morale monitors way too much credit. Doesn't matter. They have guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. When I head for the store, you stand outside the car like you're watching for nosy Nellies. <laughs> Nosy Nellies? Yeah, my mother used to say that. Y you know, anybody nosing around. Well, what do you want me to do if any nosy Nellies show up? Well, I'm guessing they won't. Let's hope they just want to raid whoever we're warning. <laughs> Listen, you're carrying an Uzi. I've seen what you can do with a shotgun, and I can only imagine what you might do with that heat gun. Or, if anybody shows too much interest, I'm jumping back in the car, honking the horn, and coming to get you. Yeah, I guess that'll work too. Behind. The dramatic audio series is based in part on the book The Remnant by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. Adapted for radio by Chris Fabry. Music by Steve Wick. Sound design by Glenn West. Directed and produced by Todd Bastide. Left Behind. The dramatic audio series is a production of Gap Digital and Tyndale House Publishers. Thank you for listening.